Well, here's a story a lot of women can relate to. Most of the time, you go to the beauty salon for a little bit of pampering, but for some local seniors, it's about more than that. KXHC News reporter Tashar Parker joins us live in studio. Tashar, what are these 70-something-year-olds enjoying about their salon experience? Amanda, for the elderly women at Carriage going to the salon is not just about many makeovers. They talk about everything from politics to family. But what the women there really enjoy most is the opportunity to spend time with one another in a retirement home that they've all grown to love. Here you go, Miss Joan. Oh, nothing can interfere with the beauty shop. Oh, it, it's never dull in here. I've had dull jobs. I mean, <laughs> this is never dull. It's not just about hairspray, roller sets, and a nice shampoo. For the stylists at Carriage Inn, they're into making memories. The shampoo. Oh. Really, she is the best. And it's so nice to be able to pick up the phone and say, hey, I look like a dog. Can you fix me up? <laughs> It's a fun place. I mean, everybody's very, very helpful and happy. With a combined 50 plus years of experience, Deborah Gallagher and Pam White says what sounds like a job to many is their calling. I started doing hair at the retirement as soon as I came out of beauty school. This is all I've ever done. I've been here at the carriage inn for two and a half years, but I've been doing hair for 36 years. While making women beautiful is their top priority. I think I've had about five different styles. And this is the one I like the best. They say what they enjoy most are the conversations here are not just about hair. My daughter's uncle by marriage owns a lake up, owns a cottage up there. I've got six kids, but they live all over the country. But that's okay. They take me on nice trips. And above all else, making someone else's day is what they hope to do every day. <laughs> Everything that I put out, oh, I get back tenfold each day. The love, the friendship, <laughs> the devotion. Bye, Miss Brownie. See you next week. Most of the women have been living in the retirement home for five plus years and visit the salon at least once every week or week and a half. Amanda? That's a lot of time at the salon, but I don't blame them. It looks like a good time. Thanks so much, Tashar. We'll be right back with your last check of the forecast.